All right, what I have in my hands right now is a light bulb that has been around for about 10 years. This is an LED BR30 light bulb. All I'm going to do is just screw this into the socket up here. This is just a standard LED floodlight that is common in these receptacles, especially here in a basement. And as you can see, all it took was one of these bulbs screwed in and this very strong antenna TV signal is now saying no signal. And this is a very strong signal and one bulb was able to just destroy this. So this is all too common throughout many households in America right now. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have these more on the cheaper end LED light bulbs that not only emit this interference that will cause problems with your antenna signal, but also don't have any protections. So this is the bulb that I have screwed into the socket up there. As you can see, it's kind of skinnier at the top. This is a similar bulb from the era. Now this one, as you can see, it's skinnier. This one's kind of fatter. These both emit interference, except this one won't cause any issues with the TV signal because this one's fatter. So they have a bunch of like protective stuff in it to make sure that it won't interfere with the TV signal. Now that's good, but these are more expensive. And also we have much better technology now. What I've been using for the last three months is these Philips ultra efficient light bulbs. These first came out in Europe about two or three years ago. They're relatively new. Philips is the only one that I'm aware of that actually makes these newer style light bulbs that are ultra efficient. And uh, these actually only use four and a half watts of power compared to the one that's currently in here using 10 and a half watts for a 65 watt equivalent BR30 bulb. So what you'll notice is these bulbs are actually incredibly skinny and these also are way lighter than the other bulbs. And this doesn't produce any interference. There's no shielding in here to prevent interference from coming out. This just doesn't even emit interference in the first place. They say 40% savings on the box. This is more like 60% savings. Um, this uses 60% less power and these run very cool. In fact, if I take out this LED that's up here, super hot right now. It's already gotten super warm. With these newer bulbs, they don't even emit interference in the first place. They just have good high quality, modern electronics in here. And these, between not producing interference that could interfere with your antenna because that costs electricity, and also heat, these run cool, which cause electricity, they're able to produce the same amount of light using just four and a half watts. So if you notice, as soon as I screw in this newer bulb in here, it does absolutely nothing to the TV picture. TV picture stays fine. And that's because, like I said, these bulbs are the best go-to if you have an antenna and you wanna save electricity at the same time. And I thought I'd just share because the BR30 bulbs don't fit a lot of fixtures. If you just want a classic LED light bulb that will fit most fixtures, you can get the A19 version of the bulb. This is the Philips Ultra Efficient 5 watts. For whatever reason, the A19s, which are smaller bulbs, these ones are listed as 5 watts instead of four and a half like the BR30s, but they're a part of the ultra efficient series. So I put these in the fixtures that require the standard A19 bulbs. And then the other ones that I showed in the video, those are great for floodlights and those can lights that fit that style of bulb. This video is not sponsored by Philips. I just think these are really cool bulbs. And for whatever reason, these are actually pretty hard to get here in the United States. Availability first started out in Europe couple years ago and it's been slow to come to the United States. I guess people in the US don't care about efficient light bulbs like the Europeans do. I guess I'm in the minority of people that do, <laughs> but uh, these are super neat and I would definitely recommend them. They're kind of hard to find on Amazon, but I'll leave a link in the description below uh, so that you can check these out for yourself. I would definitely recommend them. Like I said, I've had them for a few months and these have been working out great. So what do you think? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. I think it's just really cool to have efficient technology and these are definitely very efficient. And also, have you had any problems with your antenna? 
this could be the problem. Tell me in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.